in the previous video we talked about the, the first isomorphism uh, theorem and in this video we are going to to show a an example how to use the this first isomorphism theorem theorem or how useful this can be so we say that the factor group of the integers by a generator so this will be a subgroup right so this is a factor group so the f this is factor group of g by h where of course h is a subgroup of g so the factor group of the integers by a subgroup generated by an element n is isomorphic to the, the group of uh, Zn. Okay, um, first we consider a mapping that takes us from the integers to Zn. And we are going to define this mapping as phi of m equal r where r is the remainder of m when you divide m by n r will be the remainder okay so you pick m you divide it by n I know in the Anglo-Saxonic world you, you divide it in a different way okay but it doesn't really matter here so m dividing n you get a certain uh, quotient right and you will get a remainder here so m dividing n it will be n q right this one times this one plus the remainder this is uh, obvious for everybody okay so this will be the so the fact the phi will be will be defined as phi of m equals r where r is the remainder of m when divided by n and this is a homomorphism right and the 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 kernel of this homomorphism is n uh, the kernel is the subgroup generated by n. Now, if you use the first isomorphism theorem by the first isomorphism theorem, we conclude that the factor group of the integers by the subgroup generated by n is isomorphic to z of n. Okay, so now we are going to see another example um, how useful the first isomorphism theorem can be and this time I'm going to use the wrapping function and since this might be not very common I'm going to show a quick PDF here okay so this is the wrapping function we are going to check a definition some values and then maybe we can see that the wrapping function is not injective 
So the important uh, circular function definitions presented in the next section are based on a function W called, called the wrapping function. Okay. So the domain is the set of the real numbers and the range is the set of points on the unit circle. Okay. So it will be here. Okay. Values that are taking from the real numbers into the unit circle. Uh, by the unit circle, we mean the circle of radius 1 with center at the origin of a rectangular coordinate system. Its equation is u squared plus v squared equals 1, as it is here in the unit circle. Okay. So in defining the wrapping function, we wrap, that's why it is called wrapping, a real number line with origin at 1, 0. Um, so we are going to get a real, um, a real number line like this one, okay? And we are going to wrap it around the unit circle, like here, okay? So the, the line is going to be wrapped around the circle and here the line is being wrapped around uh, clockwise around the circle okay uh, so the positive real axis is wrapped counterclockwise and the negative real axis is wrapped clockwise in this way each real number on the real line is paired with unique point called a circular point so every single of these uh, points here are going to, call, to be called circular points on the unit circle as shown in figure two, 2 and this is figure 2 okay you can check these points here okay we usually use this u and v u here and v here and not x and y Okay, so so the, the function is going to be wrapped uh, many times around the circle, okay? An equivalent way of pairing real numbers with points on the unit circle is to think in terms of arc length, okay? The length of an arc here and to find the circular point P associated with the real number X at we start at 1 0 here okay we start at this point and move um, absolute value units along the unit circle counterclockwise if X is positive and clockwise if X is negative so the length of the arc the arc length AP, AP starting at this point and finishing at that point, AP is absolute value uh, X. So it is important to be able to find the coordinates AB of the circular point P associated with a given real number X. So this is the wrapping function WX equals AB. Uh, okay, so finding these numbers is not easy, but for the, the for some values like pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, pi over two, it's easy to find exact coordinates. Okay, so since we are using radius one, so radius will be one. Uh, the circumference will be 2 pi r, so 2 pi 1, so the circumference of the unit circle will be 2 pi. Okay, so I'm going to jump here. What will w0 be? Well, w0 will be on the point 1, 0. w pi over 2, that's 90 degrees for, for 
some people prefer to think in degrees so w of pi over 2 or 90 degrees will be this point 0 1 then w pi will be on minus 1 0 like in the complex numbers too this is like 1 i minus 1 minus i that's w of 3 pi over 2 and so following the same procedure we can find the coordinates of any circular point on a coordinate axis that is for a circular any circular point corresponding to a real number that is an integer multiple of pi over 2 okay i leave you here a quick example like how to find w wrapping function of my of minus pi over 2 that will be 0 minus 1 and w of 5 pi over 2 that will be 0 1 that's like pi over 2 okay so we are back to the, the wrapping function recall that the wrapping function w from trigon trigonometry okay the real line I'm not going to do the same here okay where this will be uh, 1 0 right we are, we were using UV etc okay um, counterclockwise so the real line is wrapped around the unit circle so this is one of course okay centered at 0 0 in the counterclockwise direction with the number 0 at the point 1 0 and the function W assigns to each real number a the point a radians okay so we'll, we'll get this a radians okay so the mapping is a homomorphism um, from R to um, um, the, the, the mapping is a homomorphism onto the circle group so the group of uh, complex numbers of magnitude or absolute value 1 under multiplication okay um, so I'm, go I'm going to write here for simplicity to the unit circle okay so now for the wrapping I'm going to use here the, the complex notation the basic complex notation like uh, cosine of x plus i sine of x okay um, we use here a uh, notation like uh, cosine i sine so we use this of x where x is the the angle and then we should have a row here this is a Greek letter row that's the magnitude of the absolute value okay that this is a notation and another notation is this one too okay but it doesn't matter now okay so well it's elementary right that wx will be this um, and w if I have two values here well this is so so simple you can do that this will be w wx wy right and w is periodic right the period is 2 pi very easy the radius is 1 so the period here is 2 pi okay so uh, what is the kernel of this um, um, of this homomorphism well the kernel will be the set of the set of members 
generated by 2pi, right? Because the identity is going to be this one. So every 2pi turns, right? You get back to the identity. Okay. So now we use the first isomorphism. theorem and we see that the factor group of R, R the factor group of the real numbers by the subgroup generated by 2 pi is isomorphic to the uh, to the the circle group I'm going to write this and not using any special notation to the isomorphic uh, with a circle group. 